At Gatwick Airport, a flight has just landed from Montego Bay in Jamaica. UK border agency officers are using drug detection dogs and an X-ray machine to monitor luggage coming off the flight. A dog indication has been given on two suitcases and the X-ray strongly suggests that there are drug smugglers on the flight. In the baggage reclaim area, officers closely monitor the first of the passengers to collect one of the suspect suitcases. A young mother and child collect the case and head towards the customs channels. It's here that Officer Mike steps in to stop the woman and break the news to her. The woman is led away for further questioning, but protests her innocence. Right, we're going to be getting some women in to search you anyway. That's fine. They are, they? Meanwhile, the second suspect suitcase is collected by another passenger. Hello there, sir. Are you travelling alone today? Can you just bring your bag over to the bench for me, please. The man declares he's the owner of the suitcase, so Officer Gary confirms his fate. I'm arresting you on suspicion of the illegal importation of a controlled drug into the UK. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you don't mention, when questioned, something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand you've been arrested and cautioned? Right, if you come this way, Billy. The man is also led away for further questioning. Straight over towards that officer over there. With both passengers now under arrest, Gary can finally inspect the suspicious brown packages found in the suitcases. We suspect them to contain herbal cannabis, and that's why the gentleman has been arrested and cautioned. The contents of the packages will need to be formally assessed to get an idea about the weight and the value of the drugs. Since being in custody, the male passenger's mobile phone has gone off several times. Certainly trying to get hold of you, aren't they? That's his mobile phone keep going off. It's obviously his accomplices trying to find out where he is, hopefully looking for their commodity, which they're not going to get. In Gatwick South Terminal, passengers have just arrived from Madrid, and border agency officers are on the lookout for signs of suspicious behavior. A lone male passenger who started his journey in Argentina has been intercepted. After a routine baggage search, Officer Johnson has found thousands of dollars in cash, which the passenger hasn't declared. Found some money. I've not okay. counted it yet, but he's actually told me that it's, it's about thirty-five thousand dollars. Okay, is that US dollars? US yeah. dollars. Okay. Yeah, um, what's he doing with it? Any sum of cash over 10,000 euros needs yeah. to be declared. Okay, we'll okay. Officers are entitled to question passengers carrying anything over 1,000 euros to ensure it has no links to organised crime. The legislation is such that it's down to the individual to prove that the money is his and is for a legitimate purpose. So if we're not sure or uncertain of anything they're saying, we can detain the money um, and it's down to them to, like I say, prove that it is legit. With such a large sum of cash, background checks are carried out on the passenger to find out if he has any prior offences. Greg, it's Kim. Yeah. Well, he's got 35,000 US on him, so yeah, it's anything really. We just see what we can get on him. Thanks, Greg. Kim joins her colleague Johnson to continue with the questioning about where the cash has come from. The money, yeah, is mine. the money is all yours. Yeah. Well, what what is it for? Well, this is the one where I, I explained to uh, your colleague. I just went back to Argentina for a week. Mm. My mother died four or five years ago, and then we just finished all the stuff with regards to the money and the will and yeah, yeah, yeah the, the, the inheritance. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. This is basically my share. Have you got documentation to prove that? Because otherwise, the money can be seized off you. Because you have you're travelling with over five thousand pounds worth of cash, and you haven't got any. Oh no! Certainly, yeah. I can. I mean, um, and how long would it take you to get these documents? Well, they're got... in Argentina. They're in Argentina, are they? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I can get copies. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, whatever the courier okay. takes. Right. 
With no documents or other evidence showing where the money's come from, it looks increasingly unlikely the man will be leaving the airport with his cash. In the airport's north terminal, officers are still investigating the two passengers who were found to have what looks like packages of herbal cannabis in their suitcases. A strip search was conducted on both passengers, but no further packages were found. The woman is led away to the airport's custody suite to be detained whilst Officer Mike assesses the quantity and value of the drugs found in her suitcase. Uh, she had eight blocks in the bag, all of them are about two kilos each, but I'll chuck them on the scales in a minute and just get a weight of all of them together. With such a large haul of suspect packages, a field test must be conducted to confirm that the substance definitely is herbal cannabis. Put the first drop on it, then that'll go through onto the second bit of filter paper, then put some of this powdery stuff on it. And if it's positive, it should go sort of a dark red colour. That's a positive then. OK, there's a couple of blankets there. If you want anything, just give us a buzz. OK? The male passenger is also detained at the custody suite. There's not a lot you can do until he um, actually gets his solicitor speaks to him. Then after that, uh, other officers will go and interview him. And until then, we're just now going to go through the bags and find out exactly what he's got. A series of large, brown, sealed packages are pulled from the bottom of the man's suitcase. There are eight blocks in total, making it another very significant seizure. Gary weighs the packages of drugs to find out how much the male passenger was carrying. And as you can see there, the eight blocks weigh approximately 17.26 kilograms. So there's probably about 16 and a half to 17 kilograms of herbal cannabis within them packages. With two suitcases full of herbal cannabis being intercepted from the same flight, officers are delighted with the seizure. The 16 blocks found in both suitcases weighed over 34 kilograms in total and had a street value of 80 to 100,000 pounds. In the south terminal, officers are still trying to decide what to do with the man who failed to declare he was carrying over 35,000 US dollars and 5,000 pounds in cash. Yeah. If, I don't know if it's going to help, but we can, I, I can call Buenos Aires, just try to find my father, and ask him just to fax the documents. The problem is they're going to be in Spanish. Mm. That's going to be the problem. I think we'll just wait and wait till the officers finish this search and then we'll go from there, OK? If no evidence can be shown for where the cash has come from, drastic action may have to be taken. If he can't show us any kind of trail for this and the paperwork's all going to come fire his dad and the solicitor, we're going to, you're going to have to take the money off him. OK, yeah. and then they'll... I think, he's got really, I think he knows that, actually. Oh, well, I've told yeah. him. He, he's got a laptop, hasn't he? He has a laptop yeah. there. Yeah, if you ask him, is there any way he can show proof of where this money's come from on that? Yeah, OK, I'll All go right. to the yeah. I'll yeah, yeah, we'll get everything out of the back for a search. Officer Johnson bags up the man's cash and leads him away for a search and further questioning. So what are we going to do with the money you've got down here? Money you've got with you today. This one? Yeah. That was I was planning just to basically. Uh, first, we were thinking on doing an extension in the house. Yeah. But uh, we were, uh, we didn't discuss further really. It's not a decision. No. So in, in the meantime, probably going to. Have you got kids in there? Yes. How many? Two kids. All right. The reason why I did this way, I don't have an account in Buenos Aires anymore. I mean, about... But the man's answers are starting to convince. After Kim's background searches show nothing on their system, the officers have a change of heart. Sarah, it's Kim. Hi, this is going nowhere. I think I've seen his business card. He's on 60,000 a year. He gets, on average, five, 6,000 a year bonus. He's got a three bedroom house. When Franco asked him what he wanted to use the money for, he was going to put some in the bank and he was talking about actually um, perhaps doing an extension because his kitchen's a bit small. I mean, he's very relaxed. He's, he's, um, Non-verbals are very good as well. I, I just, I think he's a genuine guy, and I think just send him away. Yeah, yeah, and just say next time, make sure you bring all the documents with you. 
Thank you very much. Come on, mate, that way. I'll come with you anyway. Despite their initial reservations, officers are happy with the man's story and let him leave the airport with all of his cash. At Gatwick Airport's South Terminal, a number of European flights have just arrived, and Border Agency Officer Paul is X-raying suitcases for excessive quantities of cigarettes. Cheap cigarettes purchased outside of the European Union are often brought into the country to be sold illegally for personal profit. One bag spotted on the X-ray is suspected to contain lots of non-EU cigarettes, so Paul heads to the luggage reclaim area to see who claims the bag. If I can see your passports. Put them in the black Thanks. Bag. Are these your bags? Yeah. Yes. Did you pack them yourself? Yeah. Yes. Do you have anything to declare to customs? Customs? We European Union. Yes. Okay. Do you have any cigarettes with you? I know. I know we. Do some. For do for us. us. Yeah, but how many cigarettes have you got? Any in your luggage? No. No cigarettes? No. Right, OK. Apart from these ones. Straight away, the couple are busted. Cigarettes. So why didn't you tell me? I, I don't know. You don't know why you didn't tell me? OK. More cigarettes are found concealed in cereal boxes. So why are they hidden? You don't know why you, hi you hide them, and you don't know why you didn't tell me about them. For friends. You do know what's going to happen, don't you? You're going to lose all these cigarettes. Yes. yes. The cigarettes are not purchased in the European Union, are they? They're not tax-paid cigarettes anyway. Is there a problem with this? Yes, absolutely there's a problem. When you lie to me and you try to hide cigarettes, then yes, there's a problem. Do you not understand that? The way the cigarettes have been hidden in cereal boxes suggests the couple know their allowance. So how much can I drink with me? I, I, I think you know exactly what you're allowed. Yeah, but and that's how, why you how, hit how much, that's why you hit how, these. How, how much can I bring with Well, me? you know that you're in the European Union, and if you buy tax paid cigarettes in the European Union, yeah. then you can bring in this amount. But these aren't tax paid cigarettes, are they? That's it. Are you sure? Yes. Because at the moment you haven't been honest with me, so I need to check everything, don't I? With a total of 1,800 cigarettes, the unpaid duty is worth £360. OK, two forms. I've got to issue these to you. One's a warning letter and one's a seizure information notice. Thanks very much. Paul seizes all of the cigarettes and the couple are let off with a warning. I mean, he just obviously looked down at his feet, almost like schoolboyish. Um, if I don't look at you then uh, and, and don't speak to you, then it's not really happening. In Gatwick's North Terminal, a plane has just come in from Port of Spain via St Lucia. Flights from the Caribbean are a popular transit route for drug smugglers and officers working in immigration have concerns about one particular passenger. As he collects his suitcase from the luggage carousel, Officer Paul escorts him through to the customs channels. Do you have anything to declare to customs? No. Cigarettes, alcohol, drugs, one, firearms? One bottle, of alcohol, one bottle of alcohol, OK. Sniffer dog Bren also shows an interest in the passenger. He showed an awful lot of interest in this gentleman here. It didn't, it didn't such indicate, but it gave me enough information to say, yeah, I, I want that looked at. OK, sir, please ask some questions about your luggage. Has anybody given you anything at all yeah. to bring here? Yeah, my yeah. I'm from Brunei. OK. Sending so when did you arrange this trip? Well, she arranged this trip last month. Last month? Yeah, she yeah. told me last time she was, she was in Trinidad to get her passport and she was invited to come up. And who bought your ticket? She, she did. Yes. Do you know what she does for work? Pardon? Do you know what your auntie does for work here? No. No, you don't know that? Paul conducts a thorough search of the man's bags for any signs of drugs. So in Trinidad, you're a fisherman, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And how much do you get paid doing that then? Well, I'm self-employed. You're self-employed. So Depends how many fish you catch. Depends on how many fish. So what are you intending to do while you're here? Just visit. And what made you want to visit this country? Well, my, my aunt, she told me to come up and see if I come over the years for and whatnot. 
But the man's story about the seasons doesn't convince. So you've come here to see autumn, have you? Wow. It's your first time of travel. So you've never even been to another Caribbean island or anything? I can leave that with you and I'll have a chat with my boss and I'll be back with you in a minute, all right? Just ticking a lot of boxes, mate. Yeah. Um, very potentially, yeah. Uh, um, third party, his auntie bought the ticket. He's got 300 Trinidad and Tobago dollars worth. That's it. He's never even travelled abroad before. The dog did show interest in him. So On his body. Groin area, so. His groin area, should we do strip? Yeah, just yeah, strip. Yeah. Hello, sir. I want to do a search on you, OK? Definitely. To make sure you don't have anything on your body. What we'll do is we'll go to a private room, OK? Suspecting he may have swallowed packages of drugs, the man is led away for further investigation. Across in Gatwick's South Terminal, it's not just drugs that the border agency are looking out for. Officer Liz is working in the baggage reclaim area with sniffer dog Cody who's the airport's newest dog trained specifically in the detection of products of animal origin. It stems back from when we had the, out the foot and mouth outbreak um, and we're trying to sort of stop any sort of food products coming out from outside the EU, certainly meats, cheeses, um, any sort of products of animal origin really. If there's any sort of um, parasites or any sort of um, bacteria, etc., that could get into our own food chain, this is what we really are trying to prevent. Passengers from Istanbul have just arrived and officers in the customs channels are making a number of seizures of meat and other banned foods. One passenger has caught the attention of officers after her suitcase was found to contain a number of animal skins. I've had a look in the bag, I've come across these skins, she's claiming they're rabbit, but they're clearly not rabbit. Um, they're all going to be detained. If they're OK, they'll be forwarded on to her, but um, until we get confirmation, they're going to be detained. The animal skins will be sent to a specialist unit at Heathrow Airport who deal with items that are suspected to originate from endangered species. Certainly a couple of these look like cat, some sort of big game cat probably. Deer, elk maybe. Um, and. I mean, the obvious thing would say bear there, but until we get it properly looked at, it's going to be very difficult to sort of see really exactly what we are dealing with. It's an unusual discovery, so Officer Allen decides to use the seizure as a training aid for sniffer dog Cody. Cody's he's still sort of quite a young dog, so he's still new to the actual work. Um, so, yes, yeah, we use the word scent library. Um, it's a new scent for the dog. He's never come across these pelts before. So it's what we do, we can put them in the bag um, and hopefully he'll remember this smell. It's all part of a sort of development of a young dog, definitely. The animal skins are hidden in a case. Just start from there. And Cody shows an interest first time. Good boy, yay, clever boy. It's early days, but Cody seems to have made a flying start to his new life as a sniffer dog at Gatwick. In the airport's north terminal, the man suspected of having swallowed packages of drugs is still under investigation. What I want to do on you is strip search, OK? Because the dog's showed an interest around the groin area, OK? OK, OK. I understand. Officer Paul conducts a thorough search of the passenger, but he's not found to be hiding anything. You're not intending to stay here, no? No. You sure? Positively sure about that. But you don't have a return ticket, no? You told me I have to return on the 14th of, of um, November. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't get any um, thing as yet, so... There's one final way of finding out whether the man is smuggling drugs inside his body. Another way people can bring drugs in the country is to have it inside, inside. them. Inside? Yeah. Oh. We have a machine which can, can do an X-ray. Oh. you OK to do that for us? Why not? Why not? OK, good man. The fisherman volunteers to do a full body x-ray. It will take just moments to find out if he's got drugs inside him. Well, come up here, I'll show you. Right, this is a conveyor belt, OK? OK, so you're going to stand on this, stand up here. Then it's going to move. When I say, face this way, face, no, face this way. All right, come closer to me here. That's it, legs apart a bit more. All right, you need to stay very still, otherwise it won't work. I'm going to have to do it again, OK? All right, showing now. Breathe, 
Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Despite their suspicions, this time the X-ray shows there are no packages inside the man's body. My colleague upstairs is, still has an interest in you, okay? He's basically a fisherman in Trinidad and Tobago. He doesn't earn very much money. His ticket was bought yesterday by a third party, which is supposedly an auntie, but he doesn't know what that auntie even does for a job or anything like that. Basically, his, his story and his reasons for coming here not only drew our attention, but also the immigration officials upstairs. So unless possibly they, they can find this auntie and she could substantiate while he's here, why he's here, um, he may be on the next flight home. We'll have to see. The man was questioned further by officers in immigration and was eventually denied entry into the UK. The two cannabis smugglers found with eight blocks each in their suitcases both pleaded guilty to drug smuggling. The man was sentenced to 15 months and the woman awaits sentencing.